Gobble, gobble. <laughs> Oh, fantastic. So today, y'all, let me just show you. <laughs> so I think y'all have already guessed it. I am tasting the whole Arby's menu. <laughs> I got almost everything, like literally almost the whole menu, but I couldn't get all of it because, hello, too much money. But I got a lot. And personally, I love Arby's. A lot of people don't like it. I love it. I think the beef is so good. Not sponsored at all. I just love it. I've always loved it. Also, it's so meaty. Like, there's so much meat. And it's so manly. It makes me feel straight. Right after I take a bite of that roast beef sandwich, I'm like, where's the kitty's dead? I'm just kidding, but I really do love Arby's. I think it's so good. I got so many things. I cannot wait to taste all of them. But before we start, y'all, hit that subscribe button to become a juicy tomato and hit that little ding dong bell button so you can get notified every time I post a video. Thank you. Okay, let's unbox everything. Okay, which bag do I start with? There's literally like seven bags. <laughs> let's do this bag. So, here we have a sandwich. Which one is this? Oh my, <gasps> I think this is like the brisket something. It has onion rings on it. My mouth literally just watered. <laughs> oh my God, y'all, cheese, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell y'all all the actual names as I eat them. I'm like, look online and stuff, you know, and I'm gonna tell y'all the prices of everything. Here we have another sandwich. Oh my God, these sandwiches are so heavy and so huge. Other restaurants should learn. Oh my God, y'all. Oh. This is my favorite thing to get there. It's the classic roast beef and cheddar. This is the double one, so I think it's like the medium sized one. Oh my God, look at that like nacho cheese. Oh. oh. Next we got, what is this? Another sandwich, which one is this? Oh, this is the chicken buffalo sandwich, you guys. Oh, can you see that? Wait, oh my God. I love buffalo anything as long as there's no blue cheese on it oh oh my god i don't think i've ever been this excited for a video oh this bag just has one thing in it it's the side salad which looks really good y'all i see a lot of cheese i love my side salads with a lot of cheese i don't see croutons though so we will see how this tastes is there dressing is there dressing hopefully in one of the other bags there's dressing we'll see okay Next up, let's do this bag. Oh my God, this is so fun. <laughs> okay, so my delivery guy literally was so nice and gave me so many napkins and so many utensils because he thought lots of people would be eating this. No, just me. <laughs> oh my God, this whole bag is just sauces and utensils. Slay me. Oh yes, I got my ranch dressing from a side salad. Oh my God, other dressings too. Dijon mustard. What? Balsamic vinaigrette, he got me everything. Literally all the options, that's so nice. And he also got me some dipping sauces, um, spicy buffalo, yes ma'am. He got me honey Dijon and tangy barbecue, so nice. Next bag, we have, okay, I see all of our sides. Something about Arby's, not sponsored, is that they have the best sides ever. Like they have so many options. A lot of places just have fries, not Arby's. You're gonna see what they got, oh my God. So we got curly fries, which are amazing and seasoned. I love their curly fries. Onion rings, they're very crispy. Um, I haven't had them in a while, but I'm excited to taste it. Y'all look at those onion rings, oh my God. Potato cakes, which are basically like thick hash browns. Look y'all, that's a thick hash brown. And there's two of them in here. That looks so delicious. I love hash browns. Oh my God, stop, don't fall. <laughs> I got angry at the food, I'm sorry. We have mozzarella sticks. Y'all, I'm telling you, the options are real. And we've got jalapeno poppers. What other fast food place has jalapeno poppers and mozzarella sticks and potato cakes and onion rings and fries? What? I think that on the menu, they call these the friends of meat. <laughs> and then this is an aside, but I also got the chicken strips. I've never tried them there. Uh, oh, they look really good. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> Okay, here we have, um, what is this? Oh, this is the gyro, y'all. If you don't know what a gyro is, it's like a Greek taco, kind of. They're so good. I don't know if I've had it at Arby's, I'm not sure, but they have gyros, and they have tomato, onion, tzatziki sauce, which is like a cucumber yogurt sauce, it's so good, and roast beef. This looks delicious, and it's real thick. It has a lot of meat on there. Now, here we got a different kind of sandwich. It's like a different kind of bread. Ooh, I think this is the Reuben. Yes, wow, that smells strong. Um, That's a nice big sandwich. A Reuben sandwich, I think it's like, oh, it's like corned beef, I think, I'm not sure, with sauerkraut, which is like a pickled cabbage, and 
um, some kind of sauce. So this looks interesting. I have only ever tried one other Reuben sandwich and I didn't like it, but I think that was just a bad one. It was real small. Size matters, y'all, when it comes to food, okay? This one looks filling and delicious. Okay, now this. Ooh, oh wow, we have like a sub thing going on here. Wait, which one is this? What is this? This looks so good. It's like a roast beef cheesy. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to look at the menu as I eat it so I can tell you guys the name. I mean, interesting. It looks delicious, whatever it is. Wow. What a great haul. <laughs> I'm still not done though. Okay, this is the Italian sandwich, which always looks so good on the menu. Um, I see like banana peppers, um, some kind of ham, maybe some kind of like Italian meat, I'm not sure. And, and tomato and onions and cheese. Oh, that looks so good, you guys. Now we have a few other small bags. Okay, oh, I know what this is. This is like the French dip thing. So you dip it into like this like, almost like gravy. No, not gravy, like almost like a broth. Um, And they gave me the broth here. I'm so excited to taste it. So you literally dip the sandwich into this. And then last thing for my dessert, <laughs> I got the cherry turnover. So it's like a pastry with cherries inside. Y'all, I'm just saying, the versatility of this restaurant is so good. They have so many different things. It's not just meat. Well, it's a lot of meat, but it's not just meat. They got the friends too. Okay, I'm gonna organize myself, get my thumbnail, and then eat everything. Okay. Oh, okay, so let's just get right into it. First thing we're gonna eat is the gyro. Um, how much was it? Let's see. The roast beef gyro is $4.59. Okay, it smells great. This feels very soft. So let's dig in. Mm. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> that noise though. Mmm. 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 Mmm, it's so good. Legit. Usually gyro meat is very salty, tons of seasoning, all that stuff, right? Like authentic gyro meat or whatever. Um, this isn't like that. This is like the normal Arby's roast beef, but it still works in a gyro. It still tastes real fresh. The tzatziki sauce is so good. Less tomato, onion, all tastes very fresh. The meat is amazing. I love it. It is literally like a big taco. <laughs> Me, <laughs> my JJ. <laughs> one item in and I'm already snatched bombs. Okay, next up, let's do one of the friends of meat. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's do the, wait, potato cakes, okay. Um, I got the small potato cakes, these are them. <laughs> um, they were $2.06, random price, but that's a pretty good price on me. It's like a dollar per potato cake and they're thicker than other restaurants hash browns. So I think it's kind of worth it. They smell amazing and they smell like a good hash brown, y'all. I'm just like, sad. <laughs> I dropped them. I dropped them. I got dogs. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. That is like one of the best hash browns I've ever had simply because it's so thick. That's why it's called a potato cake, not a hash brown, because it's real thick, I think. It's not too salty like other hash uh, browns. It's really good. Very crispy. Very delicious. Delicioso. Mmm. What next? Let's do the smokehouse brisket sandwich. So that is this one. Um, it has a lot of crazy looking meat on it. That meat looks crazy. <laughs> this was the most expensive sandwich that I got. It was $6.91, so almost $7 for this puppy. $7, and that's without a side. I mean, okay, I get it's brisket or whatever. <laughs> what even is brisket? It's like a fancy meat, I don't know. But $7 for like a fast food restaurant for one sandwich. Without a side, it should come with a little side. Now, the sandwich has a lot of brisket on it. It has barbecue sauce, I think. Um, cheese and onion rings. So I don't see any freshness, like tomatoes or lettuce or anything. I hope it tastes fresh and delicious. We got the meat. <laughs> I feel like a straight man going to a rodeo. It's a lot. It's a lot to handle. <laughs> it tastes exactly how it looks. <laughs> the onion rings with the bread create this like overload of breading. It isn't bad at all but I don't think that it should have onion rings on it. They should swap those out for fresh onions. It would taste a lot better. The meat, wait, let me taste the meat by itself. Mm. It tastes like barbecue. Not the most flavorful barbecue. It's not bad, it really does have that smoky flavor. Like it tastes like it's been on the, on the grill, on the barbecue with the fire and everything. <laughs> but I just don't think it's my style. I really, I think it's just a lot to handle. They need to tone it down a bit. It's all right. But in my personal opinion and my personal review, 
it's not worth seven dollars to me but some people like that so next up let's do <laughs> let's do the chicken strips y'all i didn't even know the arby's had chicken strips but they look so good they're like the really big crunchy kind of chicken strips you know what i'm talking about prime cut chicken tenders three piece was 424. I swear y'all, in my opinion, at every fast food place, chicken tenders are always overpriced. And they're just like chicken nuggets, but just like a little more real. <laughs> oh, but this looks really real. That looks like breast. Like where's the nipple? That is a breast. Oh my god, they smell really good. Okay, maybe it's like worth it. <laughs> oh wow. Oh wow. Mmm. Oh. Oh! It's worth it. It's so worth it. Oh my god. That's so good. It does not taste like a fast food chicken tender. It tastes like a sit down restaurant chicken tender. You know what I'm talking about? They taste so legit and so good and so perfectly crispy and it was perfect everything. Some of the best chicken tenders I've ever had. I'm snatched. I did not expect that at all. I didn't think they would be worth it, but they are. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Next up, we're gonna do another side. Let's do the onion rings, classic. Steakhouse onion rings were $2.29. Okay. I think that's a good fair price for this amount. Um, they are very dark and they look very crispy. Almost overcooked, but I don't think they are. Oh my god. The onion um, Wow. Crispiest onion ring I've ever had. Not the best thing ever, but good. Okay. The flavor's like almost there. It's almost a great onion ring, but it's not quite. Next up, let's just break all the rules and do dessert now because this looks so good. It's calling my name. It's a cherry turnover. Oh my god. Look at that icing though. Let me see the price. It was $171. Great price. Loves it. It's thick. It's big. It's pretty heavy. I know it's not appealing, but I'm going to buy into the middle because that's where all the cherries going to be. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's so good. Oh my god. I kid you not when I say that's like the best cherry pie I've ever had. Y'all know how some cherries are too sour? This is perfect. It's so sweet but not too sweet. It's so flaky but not too flaky. <laughs> uh, and the icing is so, it's just icing, it's whatever. But it's so good. This is delicious and for the price, damn. Oh. Let's do the French dip and Swiss classic with Enzo. Enzo is the broth soup stuff that you dip the sandwich on top. On top. On top. <laughs> so this sandwich with this was $5.39. I mean, that's not terrible. It's a pretty big sandwich. Comes with a big thing of soup. <laughs> oh, that smells so meaty. Oh. So it's basically just the Arby's roast beef again, I think. Um, but with, I think, Swiss cheese. That's why it's white. The bread smells real good, though, too. Okay, let's just dip it in. Oh. Oh, that soaks up right up. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay. It tastes exactly how it looks. Like, the broth is great. It's very meaty. And the sandwich honestly tastes just like an Arby's roast beef sandwich. But dipped into this, it's real good. Like, real good. So it's just kind of basic, but it's really good. Mm-hmm. I'll order this. For sure. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I almost like it more than the normal Arby's recipe sandwich because of this. It makes it so moist and juicy. Snatch me. Oh wow. I'm gonna eat you later, queen. Let's do another side. Another friend of me. Let's do the mozzarella sticks. Why not? Now they didn't come with um, marinara sauce. I don't know if they're supposed to. I'm not sure. Uh, but whatever. I don't mind. For four sticks, it's $3.44. For a side, I think that's a little much, y'all. I think it should be like $2. Just like the potato cakes. I don't care if it's cheese, it should be the same, you know? Okay, they're good. Mm-hmm, they're good. Mm, okay. Oh, they're good. For a fast food mozzarella stick, they're great. Compared to restaurant mozzarella sticks, they're not all the way there, but they're great. They're good. Okay, they're good. Let's do another sandwich. Let's do the Reuben, because this one's just like, it's calling me. But almost in a bad way because I'm scared of it. It just looks intimidating. The bread, I don't like that. I think it's called rye bread. I've never been a fan of it. Oh, it's so strong. It takes over, you know? But hopefully this will be good. This Reuben sandwich is $5.74. Okay, it's pretty big. And let's see the middle of it. Oh, it has a lot of meat. Get off. It's stuck. Oh my god. <laughs> it has a lot of meat. Very 
pink meat. It has sauerkraut on it, cheese, some kind of special sauce, but it's a, I think it has Thousand Island dressing, I think. Is that, I don't know, it smells sweet. <laughs> Meaty. <laughs> Mmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. The meat kind of tastes salami-ish, but it's more chewy. The bread doesn't take over, but you can taste it. It isn't bad at all. I think it's good. I just think you have to be into this flavor to like it. It's a very acquired taste, but it's good. I like the meatiness. It's very meaty, and the meat feels very, like, real. But yeah, it's just not going to be everyone's cup of tea. It's not really mine. Like, I would eat it, but I wouldn't pick it out of everything else, you know? Let's do the buffalo chicken sandwich. This looks so good. I've never tried this at Arby's. Um, I love buffalo chicken everything. I don't see blue cheese, which is good. I think that's either mayonnaise or ranch. I'm not sure. And lettuce and then the sauce covered chicken patty. It's called the buttermilk buffalo chicken sandwich and it's 516. Okay. Oh my God, it smells so buffalo-y. Hmm. 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 The sauce starts out buffalo-y. And then it gets this like peppery taste, like black pepper, but like really strong. It's like not like your typical buffalo sauce. It's like a strong black peppery buffalo sauce. And then the meat patty, it's just that. It's a, it's a meat patty. It's a chicken patty. To be honest, for like five bucks, I thought this would be better. It's just all right. And y'all, I love buffalo stuff, but this is not up to par, in my opinion, with other buffalo flavors. It's just not to me. That said, I thought this was going to be like one of my favorites because I love buffalo, y'all. Let's just take a moment and let me see what I have left, okay? So we got Italian sandwich. We got the classic roast beef and cheddar. Oh my God. We got fries. We got um, jalapeno poppers and the salad. So we're almost done. Wow. I just inhaled all this food. <laughs> what? Let's do the fries because I know exactly what they taste like and they're so good. Mmm. The price. Oh my God. They're so good. Oh my God. Oh my God. Mm. The fries are. Okay, I have a large. 275. It's big. It has a lot. Honestly, some of the best seasoned fries ever. They are so good. They they have just such a strong flavor, but in a good way. And with ketchup, it's like, oh yes. And they're curly, like my ass hair. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Next up, we're gonna do the salad. Let's get this one over with. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I actually love side salads. Like. Whenever I'm at any kind of restaurant, I need a side salad with my meal, especially if it has croutons and cheese and salt and pepper, right? So I think this is just lettuce, um, cheese, and tomato. Now, I'm not mad at that simply because it has cheese, but they really should go the extra mile and give a little pack of croutons. I got the buttermilk ranch here. It's gluten free. It's gonna squirt it on everything. Now, if y'all don't know how to make a side salad at a fast food restaurant, this is how you do it. You don't mix it with a fork because that gets too messy. The bowl is always too small. Well, this one's a little bigger, but still, it's always too small. Put the lid and shake it. Shake it up. So now we have a real side salad. <gasps> That looks so good. All the tomatoes are at the bottom though. Let me get some. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Cheese, tomatoes, lettuce. Let's taste this. Mmm. 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 Oh. That's a perfect size salad. I mean, minus croutons, but it's really good. You know? It's so simple. The ranch is real good. It's good ranch. I just love it. Great side. And it's a lot less greasy than the other side, so. It's the only side that's like not deep fried. <laughs> One of my favorite things here. <laughs> wow, that slayed me. Okay, so now we just have classic roast beef and cheddar, jalapeno poppers, and Italian sandwich. Let's do Italian sandwich. Smells good, it looks like very, I don't know, juicy? Like there's a lot of juices coming out of it. There is banana peppers, which I love. I'm excited, let's taste it. I hate it, but I don't love it. Um, the meats are very strong and really just take over the whole thing. I do like that there's freshness on it, like tomatoes and all that stuff. Um, but it's just so strong. It, oh, the price. The price. Oh, and the side salad price. What am I doing? Side salad was two dollars and six cents. Okay, decent. It was a pretty oh, decently sized salad. The Italian sandwich was five seventy four. It's actually called the loaded Italian sandwich. Wow. Okay, so. Ooh, I'm full. Let's do the jalapeno poppers. They're called jalapeno bites here, and they're 
$3.44 for five of them. I think that is a bit overpriced. It should be two something like the other sides. Like, hello. Now, I love jalapeno poppers. A lot of people don't like them because they don't like spicy food, but jalapeno poppers are not that spicy because they take out all the jalapeno seeds and everything. It's just like the jalapeno and then cheese inside with breading. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm, cream cheese. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with them. It's the perfect jalapeno popper. Pops in your mouth. Oh, yes. Now, last item, we have the beef and cheddar double. There are three sizes of the beef and cheddar. I think, like, small, double, and big. I don't know what the names are. Grande, latte, caca. I don't know. It's $6. Comes with a lot of roast beef. Let me tell y'all, it's heavy. And we got this, like, nacho cheese sauce on it. And I think... Is there any other sauce? No, I think just that. Wait, oh, yes, there is. There's like a barbecue sauce on it. Let me just say, I've had this a bunch of times. This is what I always get at Arby's. If I go, it's just the best thing ever. So let me just, let me just dig in. Mmm. Oh my, oh my God. Classic. The roast beef, like Arby's roast beef has a flavor like no other roast beef. Like roast beef from the store is really like tasteless, right? This is not. This is the Arby's flavor. Now, they're like nacho cheese. It's kind of like nacho cheese, but it's not really. It's like an Arby's cheese. It's so good. That barbecue sauce is a very thin layer of it, and it's just the perfect little amount of sweetness. Not too sweet. What a great tasting video. I'm gonna save all this for later. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching. If you watch this whole thing, you're the true tomato on all the patch, and so I know who you are. Leave a comment that says, how many sandwiches did Timmy just eat? <laughs> also, y'all go watch my other videos. In my last video, I mixed every flavor of Jello together. Go check that out. It was insane. And I made a Gushers cake recently. And I tasted tons of Cheesecake Factory dinners. So go check that out. I'll see y'all next video. I love you so much. Ooh, ooh, ooh.